they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. The only person that can judge me is homie above me in the spot drinking 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for the people that don't know, tell the people where you're from. I'm from the floors. I'm from Canarsie, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Kanasi, so you represent Kanasi. How you feel about how Kanasi looking right now? Kanasi is on fire right now. Yeah. Super lit, super tough. Okay, okay. So how did your rap name come about? Rolls Wrong. Um, I had a few names, but the Rolls Wrong name. <laughs> you stuck with it? Stuck, yeah, it stuck with me. Yeah. I'm just going to the club, fucking around, popping rolls, and just being outside, being lit. Kind of, it was a nickname that one time in the club, and mm -hmm. it just, just stuck. You know what I'm saying? So. So you still popping rolls in the club? Oh, yeah, I'm mean, I just with my little style though when I'm with a joint or something, but you know, um, yeah, rolls. Rolls out. Okay, okay. So how did you get into music? How did I get into music? Yeah. Um, my first little, uh, how can I say it? Running with music, I did uh, street scene for Motown. Okay. A lot of people don't know that I did street scene for Motown back in the days, but that was like when like Lost Boys was led. And Mr. Cheeks, right? Mr. Cheeks, um, AC, you know, all the older guys okay. when I was a young man, yeah, so okay. just seeing it and just rapping at the lunch tables and just... Okay, so when, when you first got in the booth? I was probably like 13. Okay, I first okay. got in the booth, yeah. Alright, so who was you listening to growing up? Being like the mm -hmm. Motown, so you probably listening to them. I mean, I'm, of course, a Jay-Z fan. Yeah. I'm a Jay-Z fan. Yeah. Lots, of course. Um, Diddy. You know, just New York based. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All the rappers from New York. So who do you feel like influence, influences you and your music most? That varies. Um, it just depends on the movie, right? Yeah. Cause I can get, it depends on the beat too. It depends okay. on the tracks I'm sure. Like I can get on my LA shit if I get, you know, I got my death row shit and shit. <laughs> but not, um, whatever the vibe is. Yeah, yeah. All right, so being in the music scene, who would you say is one of your biggest supporters currently? Like who's been supporting you every step of the way doing music? Mm. Um, my producer. I probably say my producer. Okay, so yeah. you, you, he started. He started with you. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the first. I mean, cause you know when you first start rapping, you do like freestyles and you do like uh, makeovers and shit like that. Yeah. Like, but the real production, like a real beat produced yeah. for me, like yeah, it started with GQ. It's my nigga. Okay, okay, okay. So you titled the album Rose Gold. Mm -hmm. Wow, what's the meaning behind that? Of course, it's with you, but. Um, yeah. A little bit of that, but my clothing line is, is something that runs parallel with what I'm doing, right? So, the name of the clothing line is Rose Gold. Yeah. So, I just wanted to put it all together and just, you know, have just the branding and just people be familiar with the brand. Like, like it's all about that Rose. So that's that. Okay, so where can people find your merch? A um, few sneaker stores, a few sneaker stores. Um, it's all mine, rosegoldnewyork.com. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The DM me. I'll okay. still pull up, go hand in hand if I have to. Okay, hand in hand. Yeah. All right, so on, off the project, what's your favorite song off the project? Ooh. Favorite song? I can't answer that because it depends. I let the whole shit run and then everything feels different at different times, right? Okay. But what I will say is most people enjoy the Flavor song the most Flavor. right now. Yeah. Right. So Flavor's like the lead joint right now. Okay. And what would you say is the most slept on song? Which what song mm. would you say? People gotta really listen to what I'm saying. I would say check. Check? Yeah, I would say check. So what about check. that song? Um yeah. just the beat, just the flow. You know what I'm saying? And everything, all the bars is real, everything's authentic, and you know, it's just people kinda get lost in the vibe, but you gotta pay attention to the lyrics. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. So um so I'm sure it's not your first project, right? Well, to be honest with you, like first it is my first Friday. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. It is. You know what I'm saying? It was been lit, but this is the first official project. I put out singles and all that, but this is the first like body official of work. Project. That's why I said this is going to go crazy. Yeah, so stream that right now. Rose Gold pre pack. It's lit. It's there. Flavor. Get the bag. Hellcats. Only four joints on it, but it's, it's healthy. That's cool. So, how do you feel like you improved musically? When they first started rapping, 13, beginning of the scene, mm -hmm. to now. To so now. How you feel you improved um, musically? I think just content, right? Like the things I touched on, right? Like mm -hmm. I said, like in, in check, I speak on like the stocks and just just content. Just 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 the variety of shit that I'm able to do. You know what I'm saying? I think that's that's the main thing. So content, definitely. All right, and then you also have a feature with Chris Brown. Not a lot of people have that. Yeah, so tell us, how did y'all meet? Like, how was that? Um, how, how we meet. So I got a friend, 
from LA that was cool with Chris. Mm -hmm. And when they came to New York for the party tour, he called me to pull up to the studio, get platinum pull ups, so I came through, okay. vibing, vibing, and like, like, super lit, <laughs> super lit. Or well, it was my New Year's song. Um, and they put the beats on, and he heard, I jumped on one of the joints, and he heard it, and he wanted to move the beat immediately. Okay. And that's just how it happened. No money, no nothing. No organic. No organic. That's what's up. That's wild. Yeah, so that's what's up. Yeah, so what's something that's on your musical bucket list? What's something like, yo, I want to accomplish this? Mm. It could be this year or it could be long term and right now, but something like, yo, I got to do this in well, music to fill, you know? I want a number one single. I want to what, Billboard number one? Billboard number one. I just, yeah, I want, the, I want the whole world to know and hear my music and appreciate my music. And yeah, we want to just go from number one. You know what I'm saying? Top of the top of the top. Top of the top? Okay, that's a good one. That's good. People be like, oh, no, you. Yeah, that's should be cap. <laughs> that don't mean a million dollars. You feel me? Right. So, um, so what advice would you give to an upcoming artist? An artist that's on the ground right now, trying to get hard. We just come out of COVID. What's some advice you give an artist? Invest in yourself. Okay. Don't be afraid to put your money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? Um, so don't be scared to take risks. Of course, healthy risk. Healthy mm -hmm. risk. Um, get a team. Get niggas that really fuck with you for you. You know what I'm saying? That's going ball, you know? And healthy risk, team, ball. And don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Because, you know, ultimately anybody going to do it for you unless until you get to that point. You know right. what I'm saying? No silver spoon behind right there. <laughs> Okay, okay, so what's next for you? Well, right now... What's going to be looking forward to 2021? 2021. Yeah. We're going to put these videos out. Okay. We're going to run yeah. these numbers up. Okay. We're going to get this bag. We're going to get a check. We're going to do some flavor out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to have these pop-ups and just, you know, just get, just get the numbers up. We can put the shit on. We can sit here. So definitely the videos for all these songs. Absolutely. Numbers going you up. You gotta come out too for the video I'm, and all that pop I'm out. Hey, dude, come on. Oh, alright. Uh, <laughs> so tell the people where to find you, where to find Yo, your music. Rose Wrong on Instagram, double R. It's R R O S E R R O M E on everything. For Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's the, you know, double R'd up. So tap in.